are at the front of the V6 petrol Ranger. That's a new twin turbo one. We've been working on this on and off for the last, I would say, it's coming up to about sort of eight weeks now. Trying to get everything set up and working properly. So we've got full control over everything the Ranger has to offer. So control over the fuel, control over the boost, control over the timing as well. Um, we've also got throttle control built into this as we do with pretty much every unit here. And we're finally, finally getting some really good, promising positive results with all the drivers that we've had to set up uh, in the UniX ECU to communicate to these late model things. My God, the results are exciting and they're awesome. I want you to check this video out. No, it's definitely a, a new new engine. Obviously with new engines, new vehicles, we normally try and get on, get on top of them straight away, get them in, wire them, find the wiring, find the sensors that we need to um, connect to. And obviously we've done that. And yeah, obviously it's taken a bit of extra work because of the, the new style sensors that, you know, a lot of these new cars are, are running these days. New chip's not just a, you know, a bunch of resistors in a box to fudge sensors. Obviously the new sensors are getting quite complicated. They're not, you know, they're sending special signals out, not your standard zero to five volts. Um, Lucky we had some background already. The V6 Amarok's have a similar sensor. Obviously Ford have just done their own new version of it. We've been able to get on top of it pretty quickly with the flexibility of the, the Uni X to be able to handle these types of new sensors. The map sensors or the boost sensors, the sensors that tell the ECU how much boost the vehicle is running. We already had a module for that, like I said earlier, for the V6 Amarok, it's a very similar um, system, but we had to write new firmware to update that sensor and new firmware for the UniX to deal with Ford's version of it. So yeah, that obviously just took a bit of time and a, and a, and a few goes at it to get it right and keep the sensor happy. going to manufacture an exhaust system for this. What do you think? Oh, look, I think the exhaust will definitely see some good increases with a bit of playing around we had. Sort of got to the point where, yes, I could get more boost in it, but the gains were very, very minimal. Obviously going from 17, 18 pounds to sort of 21, 22, made some really good gains. And then if I tried to make more boost, the gains were nothing to you know, outstanding. So yeah, okay. it was just wasn't worth running the extra boost to make you know, another kilowatt. So obviously there's a, a few back pressures and restrictions coming into place. So um, I think the exhaust is definitely the next place to start, uh, which we will very shortly. Oh, Would you compare awesome. it to like a Kia Stinger sort of thing? Uh, so? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, I'd probably really compare it to a, to a Kia Stinger. Um, obviously they run, you know, it's a bit smaller engine, they run a bit more boost um, standard, but Certainly for the boost increase, um, the results are very nice. Um, quite impressed. I am so, so, so excited to drive this one. So this is a V6 twin turbo Ford Raptor Ranger. We've just tuned it up. It's making just under 300 kilowatts at the wheels. It's, um, it's, mm, feels good. Now I've driven, we've owned, you know, 3.2 litre, a 2.2 litre um, Ranger, obviously both being the diesels. We've also had the 2 litre um, Ford as well. So we've had, you know, all of the Fords, you know, all these late model Ford turbo diesels along the way. I personally have been waiting for this V6 twin turbo petrol to come out for quite some time because it, I knew it was going to be something special. And actually sitting in it and driving it, it's just something completely different. 300 kilowatts. <laughs> that is so good. Wow. Okay. Right. So we're in a different territory altogether as far as 
you know, power and torque is concerned. This, um, this thing just launches. How can I say? So I'm in four-wheel drive. It is getting all of the power and the torque to the ground. It's still wheel spinning. The acceleration, it just put, puts you back in the seat. It's one of those ones where I always sound like a salesman and it kind of shits me. But if I had one of these and it was my car that I would drive every day, 100%, this is what I would do to it, without doubt. Like you just, you just would. If you've got a V6 petrol Ranger, you know, you've obviously got a little bit of spirit behind you and you do like a little bit of power and torque. If you want that little bit more, and I'm talking like just under 300 kilowatts at the wheels, you got to get it done. There's going to be plenty more in it. And when we get an exhaust system, we get dump pipes and we get the air intake and everything else, you know, we're going to bump up and we'll be well over 300 kilowatts. That is definitely going to happen. It's just a matter of time. But right now, if you're thinking about how can I tune one of these things, you know, we've got it covered. Just pick up the phone, give us a call, go onto our website and um, have a look and see what magic we can make with your Ford Raptor Ranger. Remember, like, subscribe, share. I'm now on doing the TikToks as well. So if you're on the TikToks, look up the TikToks Dynamotive. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.